So coming to the headlines, the first one is, uh, this was an update by Gulf News. Dubai police arrest Hush Puppy and 11 others in 1.6 billion dirhams, uh, billion uh, money laundering sc- cyber scam. So it says 13 luxury cars, 150 million in cash. Now, after Instagram celebrities help. Now, I watched the video on YouTube. It looked more like a Hollywood movie. I don't know why they're doing this. Like they, they make it look, it was the guy who's speaking in Arabic and they made it look like a Hollywood kind of production. I mean, keep it real. Why do you want to show so futuristic? It, it, it looked so well made. Like it looked fake. To me, it looked fake. It looked like it was planned. Okay. Uh, however, you know, I did my research. They actually caught the guy. And I'll tell you, why did they catch him is because he was bragging and showing off. There are plenty of people in the Middle East, Saudi, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman, plenty of people in the Middle East who are involved, who are, you know, staying away from their country so that they don't have to pay taxes. That is why celebrity stars, I I, I know, I know some of the names, celebrity stars, producers, actors from all around the world. They have offshore accounts because they don't want to pay a 50% or 35% or 50% tax to the government. So they keep it on offshore accounts. They use the loopholes of the system where they don't have to pay. And this is normal. It's it's done by everyone. So it's no one is bad. But if you start showing off on social media, hey, this is my Rolls Royce. Oh, this is the amount of cash that I have, you know, holding the cash. That's absolutely stupid. And you're inviting trouble. And what I found funny with this video is on one hand, they are censoring his face and not showing his face. And just, you know, to protect the identity or whatever but after a few minutes into that video they're actually showing his face they're actually showing his face so the first one they're censoring his face after some time they're showing his face so very poorly done um, you know thought process okay the next one is now i'll give you three bits of news to make you understand why you should not subscribe to only one newspaper or news print media or you know outlet so here it says Qantas to ground more than 100 planes for 12 months in the COVID recovery plan. So Qantas, uh, that is uh, Qantas Airways or Qantas Airlines, Australia's number one airline. Okay. And 6,000 staff will be uh, made redundant. Okay. So Qantas in Australia, which is part of the aviation industry, is saying, okay, 100 planes are going to be grounded. Okay. And uh, the airline is looking to cut cost of 10.5 billion over the next three years. Two thirds of its fleet uh, will be ground. Okay. Air France says it will operate only one Airbus 380 flight on Friday. Okay. Uh, Operate one final Airbus A3 flight on Friday. Uh, And, uh, you know, Air France is also saying, okay, we are undergoing a tough time and we are going to, uh, you know, cut down costs, cut down um, employees. However, if you check UAE, Emirates Airlines, what it says is, Emirates will start flying A380 again. So just use your common sense. Every airline in the world is saying there is no passengers. There are no passengers. There's nobody. We, you know, we have to cut down costs. We have to terminate people and we are doing losses. Emirates puts the spin and says, we are going to fly again. We are going to do it again. I mean, how about telling the truth? In fact, I got this video that was shared with me from a passenger in the Emirates uh, Emirates Airlines, he was traveling. He showed me only four passengers in the whole aircraft, only four passengers traveling. So just imagine. So yes, uh, yes, you're up in the skies again. Yes, you're doing it. Big good news. How about showing how many passengers are coming? In fact, one of them even sent me, I can't find that email. Uh, what, he, uh, what the person was saying is, Loy, there are doctors and nurses who are stuck here, who want to go back to UAE to their families. But they only took locals. They only took, you know, I think two or three locals. They took them back. The whole aircraft was empty. Why don't they take the rest of the people back? So I I can't find that email. But if I can get it, I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, on one hand, UAE is, UAE is also doing this dangerous. I don't know. Um, personally, on one hand, I'm, I'm torn right in between. between. On one hand, it is, uh, they are saying, we... We are opening up the economy. You know, it's your responsibility. Yay, we have done it. On the other hand, it's like UAE is there. This screenshot, if you see, Kalich, uh, Kalich Times, it says UAE lifts all movement restrictions, sterilization to continue. And they're showing these guys spraying with, you know, chemicals. Okay. Which UNO is saying, UN is saying, 
these chemicals are more dangerous. They're not doing anything. So, you know, the, the problem is there's so much of information. One side, yes, we did it. Other side, they're saying, no, we didn't do it. Third is they are saying, okay, we'll spray chemicals. And then you get UN that says, no, spraying chemicals is of no use. So the problem is, you know, I would just say, I think the best message that was given is, please use personal responsibility. Now, you uh, if you check Gulf News, it says Dubai bars and pubs ordered to close until further notice. The reason why this news has come is because the idiots, the absolute stupid, you know, individuals, they started putting videos of them dancing in the pool, dancing in the pubs, uh, dancing on top of the tables. I got some videos, but I can't share them with you is because they're actually showing their faces. They're actually showing their faces. So, you know, I don't want them to get in trouble. They are on the table. They are dancing and they're touching and they're kissing and they're squeezing each other's butts and, uh, you know, they're socializing. What are you doing? If you want to have fun, do it quietly. Don't bloody upload it on social media. That's the first stupidity. The second one is you have been given a little bit of, you know, okay, relax, enjoy. Can you have a drink quietly with your friends? It's sort of drinking, dancing, hugging and the whole group. The problem with people is you give them a finger, they take the whole bloody hand. I, I receive plenty of videos of people dancing in the pool. Uh, uh, you know, so many. I don't know what is this fascination of dancing in the pool. Lying down in the sun or the beach. What What is so great about it? If you're talking about work, I can understand. If it's relaxation with the family, I can understand. Oh, let me show my body. Oh, let me see some uh, other people's body. Let them be half naked. Let us all drink. Let us all get drunk. Let us all have sex and let us all do all this shit. I don't know what kind of fun is that. I'm sorry, but I don't feel that is fun. I feel that is stupidity. And... These individuals should be just uh, transported to some planet in the world, you know, some far off country left on an island. You drink, you dance, you get sick, you collapse. Please get away. I really wish that countries deport these people into some island on some island where they can lie on the, you know, under the sun and dance pool parties and just do that. These hippie kind of individuals, I I can't stand them. Sorry, but I can't stand them. Okay. Um, you know, like this one, I, it seems some five palm messed it up for everyone. That's why all bars. I don't know what is five palm, but I think it's a, it's a hotel or something. Shameless, absolutely shameless people. Okay. The next one is, uh, this is once again, stupid news. Dubai to construct a raining street where it pours all the, all year round. Raining street. What the fuck is a raining street? Whoa. You know, this is the reason why UAE kind of loses its credibility for all this shit. Tell me which country in the world pours rains 24-7 year round. Who wants rain 24-7? Is there any individual who's saying, wow, I wish it rains 24-7. I can go out and it keeps raining. Who wants that? Uh, what what kind of nonsense is this? And they're having that also. They're having this on a world island. That means these are islands that are not, which are not naturally there. They are artificially made. On top of it, it's away from the mainland. So if someone has to go to a hospital, I don't know how the hell they're going to manage that unless they build a hospital there and a school there and everything there. And third one is, who the hell wants rain 24-7? Okay, I'll go shopping. Oh, it's raining. Very good. Okay, fine. Me and my daughter, we have gone in the rain. But we don't do that every single day. The, you know, people have normal lives. You want to go to school. You want to go to school in the rain. You want to go to shopping. Shopping in the rain. What the hell is this? This is the reason why UAE is now becoming a joke. Because, you know, you you do it a little bit. You bullshit a little bit. But don't keep bullshitting forever, man. Then people will, you know, people will laugh at you. They'll say, are you fucking stupid? You know? And that was a world island. They never learn from their bloody mistakes. No matter how many times they, they this this world islands has been going on from what, 2003 or 2000, I think 2003 onwards, the world islands dumping sand in the sea. And you know, the amount of money they'll have to spend to maintain this. Okay. And it's, here's, here's my theory. I don't think anyone with hard earned money, with legal money, would invest in something like this. No one in their right mind with legal money would invest in nonsense like this. Only people who have 
so much of money, not legal money, like they say black money, would invest in something like this. Because tell me, if you are working hard, you have saved penny after penny after penny, what would you invest in? Would you invest in having a house that was built on sand, that was artificially put in the middle of the bloody ocean? Don't you hate it when that happens to you? When it does, you need this and this and this. When it happens to me, I always know where to go. When you've got professionals on your side, your problems don't stand a chance. What are you waiting for? Contact them today and let them take care of your problems.